A committee of Duke County Commissioners voted to further discuss a proposed anti-discrimination ordinance. It passed the committee of the whole five to three after nearly two hour discussion. Commissioners Mallory Jones, Valerie Wynn and Joe Allen voted against it. Ashlyn Webb listened in on the meeting and explains what it would do if passed. The proposed ordinance has already gotten controversial and received a lot of reaction on social media. Today we took a closer look at what this ordinance would do if passed. The first thing to know is this would apply to businesses that have a business license in Macon Bibb County. The ordinance would ban discrimination in employment, housing and public accommodations based on race, gender identity, disability, sex, among others. Under the ordinance, businesses could not discriminate by withholding any goods, services or accommodations. It's really important for Macon as a city to um, say that we won't tolerate discrimination. There's some misinformation about what this ordinance would do, including from Commissioner Mallory Jones. He posted on Facebook giving an example of public school showers and locker rooms. According to Michael McNeil in the county attorney's office, the proposed ordinance would not apply to public or private schools. According to McNeil, there are no specific parts in the current county code about discrimination. The ordinance would offer a local option to deal with discrimination complaints. To go through the uh, federal process is very time consuming. It's very uh, expensive and basically, you know, for, for many, if not most, it's a complete uh, turnoff. So, uh, you know, what we're just trying to do is to provide a local, uh, to provide a local mechanism for handling these situations. Commissioner Valerie Wynn and Mallory Jones opposed the ordinance, mentioning it would allow transgender persons to use public restrooms. You don't want to have someone come in there that's not of the same gender or says that they believe they are of the same gender, so they need to be in there. Whether they're little girls, teenagers, moms, grandmothers, great grandmothers. And so this, this legislation will trample on their privacy rights. Scott Mitchell, who helped to draft the ordinance, says some commissioners' comments were hurtful to some in the LGBTQ community. It breaks my heart, though, because I know other people and friends of mine that were on that commission meeting this morning. Those words hurt. Those words cut deep. He says the goal of the ordinance is to make Megan inviting to all. I want it to be a place where businesses, the film industry, all of these things keep coming to Macon. I want to be I want it to be a place where people can walk down the street holding hands, loving each other, and it doesn't matter. If passed, the county attorney's office says if a business violates this ordinance, it could be fined up to $500. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Macy News. Spokesperson Chris Floor says there will be a public hearing on the topic. No word yet on a time or place. The ordinance is expected to go before the full commission next Tuesday for a vote.